Hello viewers, how are you? Today's tutorial, we will install Rocky Linux 9. You already know that uh, the version 9 of Rocky Linux has been released recently. So I am going to install my first Rocky Linux 9 server and I want to share it with you. Let's start. You can download the ISO file of Rocky Linux 9 from their official website. It is available uh, free of cost. Uh, then you can write it on a DVD or CD or a USB or if you are installing on a virtual machine then you can directly attach the ISO file to your VM. Okay. When you boot your machine with the Rocky Linux ISO then the first uh, screen that you come up with is the one that we have right now uh, it shows not too many options it is the traditional uh, the test this media and install rocky linux 9.0 option is the traditional option that is come up with uh, centos and red hat 5 and onwards so no need to test your media and you do not need to troubleshoot anything right now. You have to go straight forward with the installation of Rocky Linux 9. So press enter. The installer is uh, loading files now. It isn't take much time. Okay, here it is. We are now at the welcome screen of Rocky Linux 9 installer. Here he is asking us to select uh, installation, a language for the installation process. Uh, definitely uh, English um, suits us very much. Therefore we select it. Select the English language and continue. Okay, we are now at the installation summary screen. This installation summary screen looks very much similar to the uh, Rocky Linux 8.0 or CentOS 8.0. So you can customize all your operating system settings from here. You can uh, select the keyboard, language support, time and date, installation source, etc. etc. So some settings are good by default but here are some settings we have to configure so come to the system section and choose the installation destination basically installation destination uh, provides us, us the options to create the partitions and drives for your uh, uh, Rocky Linux installation you can choose a separate partition for boot for home directory or use a single partition for whole your root uh, directory but for this time for a default installation it is better you can go with the uh, default template default partition template that Rocky Linux comes up with so how do you apply this template simply press the done button and it uses the default template you can see the automatic partitioning option ok installation destination is ok now and set the time and date you can set time and date according to your time zone for example if you are here in the Chicago then you can set your time zone here you can set the time and date as well but I think it is uh, syncing with the time server so it is not providing us the option to set the time zone and date here no problem press done ok the time set has been the time and date has been set now set your network uh, the ethernet card is already uh, set and connected and it is used 
to it is used the method DSCP for network configuration. It means it acquire a IP address DNS setting and a gateway from your network DSCP server. So no problem if you happy with it you can go with it and you can always customize these settings after installation of your operating system. Uh, you can you need to set a host name here the host name or machine name of your uh, Linux server. So I am using the Rocky Linux 01 okay press apply and done the network settings also completed now set a password for root user there are two additional options the two new options are available here lock root account it means uh, the, the root account may be locked by default if you check this option uh, it is matter of practice how you worked on your Linux server if you use root account for network configurations or any other installations or administrative tasks then you must not lock your root account otherwise it is a better practice to always lock your root account and uh, create and use a non-default admin user for administrative task on your Linux server. Another option is allow root SSH login with password. It means uh, the root user can login by using a SSH client such as putty with by providing a password. It, this practice is also uh, not good according to cyber security practices. So you can disable this option as well. In, uh, in, uh, you can alternatively you can use a key based authentication for root based SSH logins. This is better than uh, traditional user and password based authentication press done ok everything is set now press begin installation the installation process takes some time anything uh, I want to show you the complete process of installation of Rocky Linux and I don't want to skip anything so you can see what each and every step what it is performing here keep remember that we are installing uh, we are performing a minimal install of Rocky Linux operating system uh, minimal install is good for Linux server setups because it install only the most necessary packages on your Linux server and whatever you want to do with your Linux server you can later install only that package on demand when you required you can install that package on this server it keeps the unwanted packages from installing on the server and whatever is installed on the Linux server uh, the administrator is aware of all the packages and whatever is installed on the Linux server so it is a good practice that you always create your uh, server installations with minimum ins install and then install only the packages that you require for example you want to set up a uh, Apache web server then you can install the HTTPD package uh, the, uh, on that minimal installation installed server it is a much better practice and you will not face as many pr problems as you will face while you install a complete or full type of installation
currently it is installing kernel modules Rocky Linux uh, version 9 has many new features from support for latest version of applications and databases and packages uh, that we will see it from time to time and in other our future uh, videos we will see each and every new features one by one uh, for this purpose i recommend you to please subscribe to my channel for so that you do not miss anything and continue your linux journey with me also like my videos uh, if you found them uh, valuable and also give your feedback in the comments and let us know what we can uh, in further improve in these videos and uh, if you want us to write for on a topic or make a video on a topic you can uh, you can give your <coughs> requirement in the comment section the installation process is taking a little bit more time okay the installation process is completed reboot your system now you are now at the grub boot menu and there are two options available one is the uh, rescue option and the other one is the uh, system boot option go with the first option rocky linux the blue onyx your rocky linux 9.0 operating system has been loading for the first time okay is it done you are now at the login prompt of your linux operating system login as root user because we don't have log the root user we can login as root user provide the password you are now at the linux bash shell you can start executing commands here and start experimenting with your uh, version 9 of rocky linux uh, till then uh, goodbye from me we will shall meet again in a brand new tutorial about rocky linux 9 or most probably it probability it is a tutorial on a new feature of rocky linux 9 till then i request you to please subscribe my channel and like my videos we will meet again in a in our next video goodbye